welcome to my youtube channel again it's your girl here macy you guys are welcome to my youtube channel subscribe if you have not yet subscribed today we are going to talk about relationships like love life you know you know as women we are always struggling in those kind of things right we're just gonna have like a small topic it's gonna take like almost 15 to 20 minutes well i'm here with my girl my queenie hello hello i'm michelle and um i'm here to talk about love and relationships with miss hoveka I'm not really gonna talk much. I'm just gonna spicy, spicy a little bit. She will be the one making all the talkings, you know. I will be talking to her, like talking. It depends what's going on, right? Well, I'm a little old school, so I'm gonna give you advice on an old school um, point of view. But anyways, so ladies out there, I know um, it's been a trying time. A lot of us are going through relationships where we have our ups and our downs. And I just want to encourage you this evening to love yourself. Know your worth as a woman. Put yourself first, because if you don't put yourself first and you don't love yourself first, how would you ever be able to love somebody? Do you not agree? I agree with it. 100%. I do agree. 100%. We have to know love our ourselves. worth. That's right. And women, we are so special. We have so much to give. We are diamonds, guys. We, we are, are diamonds. Very we are rare. queenies. We are all queenies. Very precious. <laughs> God made us so that we are unique in our own being. Oh, yeah. And women, I just want to encourage you this evening for those women that are going through a rough time in your relationship. Know that with God in your life and with your peace of mind and your stable frame of mind, you can conquer any heartache any heartbreak that you might be experiencing just open up your hearts sometimes open up your bible pray talk to god sometimes don't always cry because i mean crying makes you feel a little bit better but it doesn't fix the problem oh, because yeah, the problem is true. always going to be there we're all going through a trying time right now covid is happening people are spending a lot more time at home relationships are going downhill because people are up in each other's faces all the Be time happy, guys life is Absolutely. too short it is <laughs> life is too short it this is this is just general topic we're just gonna she will talk i will talk whatever we come to our minds you know we don't really have like a specific thing that we are focusing on it you know ladies do not ever put a man first before your children before yourself before your life Look for the red flags. If you have a gut instinct that a man is cheating or is not right for you, then you know what? Follow your heart because your heart never lies. Amen. And so <laughs> I just want you to be smart about things. Pick and choose um, the guys that you date. Take your time before you go into having sexual relationships with them. Don't give it up that easy. And it's time to look for men who can support us. You know, you know we... When we grow up, we used to say, oh, me, as long as I can work hard and do what." Right now, me, I'm looking for a guy who can support me, guys. That's right. Look for someone who, who will be supporting you, who will help you, who going to be working hard with you. That's the only thing you need to do as a woman, you know. We women, we are struggling a lot. We have kids with different men and what, what, what. They leave us with kids. And if you are looking for a man right now, look for someone who will be there for you, who will be working hard. That's, we need cash, buddy. We right. need money. Money talks, bullshit walks, ladies. <laughs> so don't date a broke man. Try to date a man who at least has a job. A man who can take you for dinner now again, take you to a movie, do stuff for you. Women, we need men who can pamper for us we work so hard we cook we clean we take care of our men and in and out of the bedroom and i think that we just sell ourselves short we've got to have time for us as well it's nice to have a man to give you a small massage to make you some tea sometime oh Tell yeah you beautiful you know <laughs> women we like attention we love it we just totally love it so um look for a man that has substance a man that can be your pillar of support a man that 
acknowledges and recognizes that you're special and worth it and beautiful a man that compliments you you know it's not always about them it's also about us ladies yes. so start smartening up oh yeah and to all the men you need to love your girlfriends your fiances your wives your children love them with all your heart guys <laughs> and love unconditional when you're with somebody don't give 100 percent give 110 percent that if the person ever wants to leave you you know that you gave them your all because mm. the bottom line is women you are worth it we are worth it hallelujah and i want to encourage you guys or well, i want to tell you guys something it doesn't matter how how bad you was had in the past when you meet someone don't put that uh, problem or that hating on that person. Oh, always be willing to laugh again. Laugh. Always be like, be a beginner. Be a starter. Always be willing to start all over again when you are with someone else. Because all people are not the same. We are all different. All men are not the same. They are all different that's why when you meet a guy it doesn't matter how hard you was met you still need to like to love that guy that's right. because of him not because of the other person that have hurt you or what especially to the young ladies who who have never been hurt you're gonna be hurt men gonna hurt you guys mm -hmm. no matter what you do it doesn't matter how good you are men are always men they're always gonna do their things you know <laughs> but you don't have to stick up for the bull crap ladies stand up for yourself stand up for what you feel is right don't be a fool oh yeah oh yeah that's true that's true too because i'm saying the thing is a lot of times we get into relationships and then we get hurt we get used we get abused and then the thing is when we meet somebody else we're too scared to be vulnerable with them and let go but ladies like macy has mentioned here everybody deserves a second chance so if one man hurt you doesn't mean the second man will will do that don't no. make comparisons oh he did that so this one mm. is going to do that no don't be doing that give the man a chance until he messes up be willing to start all over that's right yeah. because starting over is never easy but it's worth it oh especially yeah especially if you have the right guy and you'll know within the first couple of months of being with him whether he's the right guy or whether he's not am i right you are right my dear yes you absolutely. are right <laughs> <laughs> well then um ladies, we are not done we still have a few minutes so we still have to talk my we dear we do we do <sighs> we do we have relationships to talk about we have men to talk about women when we have children love your children with everything whatever we do in front of them follows them so we need to be a little bit cautious sometimes of the things that yes, we do in front of them yes. because kids are smart mm. they pick up on the things that we do that's you, very true that's be very a good true. role model Mm. be a to your good kids, example right? yeah. that's right yeah. set a good example to them start teaching the girls about cooking at seven years old because we want them to keep them in don't we we want to do that that's right <laughs> so i give you the floor what else can we discuss oh, today oh my goodness me i always have a lot of things to talk about especially when it comes to men oh my goodness i never stop talking about men but i love men i love them that's a good they thing. are my heroes they are my heroes. I can't live without men. No way. No way in my lifetime. <laughs> as long as I'm still young, I cannot live without a man. That's amazing. Oh, yeah. That's who I am. I, I'm always willing to always laugh. It doesn't matter what I go through. When I meet someone, I always give him all what I have. If he doesn't appreciate that, that's his business, you know, but I am that kind of person. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, a lot of times we meet men and we don't know uh, what they're about, what they've been through. And a lot of times, us women, we have to take a few steps back. We have to really sit down and think, okay, a man is behaving this way. Even though you know that you didn't do something wrong mm -hmm. to him, you've got to think, did he have a bad day? Um, you know, maybe at a fight where he's coming from. Oh, yeah. You've got to put yourself in that person's shoes for a moment. Sometimes we need to understand them. That's we right. We need to learn our men. You need to learn 
what your man wants or how is your man we need to learn a lot to, because and i want to encourage the mamas especially the mamas you guys with uh, sons you need to give love to your sons because most of the men they are looking for that kind of love because they didn't get that love from their mommies right but if you give your child like that kind of love you won't gonna go and look love out of me because me i won't gonna give my men uh, the love that he will be looking for like uh, the love of a mom right motherly love yeah 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 right. which means when you when the kid is growing up especially the boys you need to take care of that kid you need to give them so much love mm -hmm. because sometimes they get so hurt by a lot of women because they are looking for something that they will never find in women that's in right. ladies you know we cannot love them like their own mommies that's why especially when you have a boy you need to take him hold like him that. close treat oh him like yeah an so that they cannot be hurt uh, most of the time because men too they have been hurt a lot for us ladies we just think oh men are hurting us men there's a lot of men who have been hurt too that's true and the yeah. thing is that we have to be cautious cautious in the things that we say to them uh, remember women our tongue very sharp and words can never be taken back oh yeah so you know we can rant and rave and sway and cuss them out and call them all names on the earth even though it's wrong to do so but then we the are thing strong is, here we need to learn to hold our tongues mm. because once you say that bad word or once you say those bad things you can never take it back again and then saying sorry to them means nothing because you've already hurt their self-esteem mm. they don't feel like men anymore because you know the stuff that you said even though some of it is true men don't like to know the truth oh yeah you gotta watch how you say and it one thing i'm gonna tell you guys never shame your man in the street even he does something that you don't like especially when you are somewhere in parties waiting so what and he does something that you don't like just keep quiet wait until you guys come to the car or you come at home and then you tell him i didn't like this and you talk in a very good way so that you guys cannot always be fighting, fighting. You know, there is always fighting. Me, I like fighting with my men too, but I respect them. Make I love, do respect them. <laughs> no, but that's the thing, you know, you go, you fight, and then you go make, make up sex. Oh yeah, oh that's yeah. Fun. That's fun. <laughs> but I'm saying, ladies, you know, it's, it's, it's amazing. It's amazing how God has made us. Uh, like I said, unique in our own being. We're very smart. We know what we want. A lot of us single moms out there were very independent and a lot of times when you meet men that see a strong black independent woman mm. they feel threatened by us because we're so strong oh, yeah. and I just want to say you know what I think it's a good thing for us to be strong because then they know they can't trample all over us that we can stand up for what we feel it think is right mm -mm. than a man just taking advantage of us and walking all over us so it's a good thing women stick to your guns stick to your guts if you uh, want to be appreciated and respected by a man then get, show and give respect if you want to be loved by a man show and give love if you want to be having an honest decent man learn to tell the truth mm -hmm. and be true to yourself first okay. always put you first love you first know your worth mm -hmm. we want you to know your worth we want you to appreciate yourself we want you to always remember that God will never give you anything that you can't handle mm. and in times of tribulations in times when you're going through heartache heartbreak and stuff open up your Bible kneel down cry out to God because he has the answer only he can fix it don't seek out to man to fix your problems God can fix your problems for you if you just ask him remember what he said in the book of John knock and the door shall be opened ask and you shall receive mm. so ladies anything you want ask God ask God put he God always first. there to answer you he always there to right. help you when you are struggling when you are set God is always there that's right yeah ladies and we just want you to be virtuous women respect yourself love yourself absolutely take care of yourself dress nice look good for your husband work out ladies don't get big bellies and <laughs> hanging bellies and stuff like that still put on nice clothes put on a bit of makeup 
you know, make yourself beautiful because you are beautiful inside and out. Thank know you for work. watching, guys. Thank you. I do appreciate you. Thank you. Oh my goodness. Take this care. Is beautiful. Have Thank a nice you guys evening. for watching. Subscribe if you have not subscribed, and you are always Thumbs welcome up. to my channel.